What's happening, folks? It's Unhost here. Welcome to episode four of Facts. And today, I've got with me JL and Life. What's happening? Hi. All right. And yeah, today we've got something pretty cool with rails. Uh, as you guys can see, we've got these little corner rails down here with a bunch of mobs on them. We just got a couple tests set up to make sure that you guys know for sure what's happening. Uh, just to let you guys know, the corner rails here are actually much faster than the straight powered rails, uh, and obviously a lot cheaper. Um, we got a test set up right now to show you guys that it can actually go through mobs unlike the regular rails. So if you guys want to start that off. Yep, Nova's stuck. Jail's going right through. Slowed down just a bit from the mobs, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty conclusive evidence right there. And uh, now we'll show you guys the speed test. Okay, so we got this speed test set up, and actually, I want to let you know that items as well, you'll just straight pick them up, and there's a chance for items to stop your minecart if you're on the regular uh, booster-powered rails. So, yeah, we've got the uh, speed test, if you guys want to go ahead. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh. Yeah, already off the bat, pretty obvious that these are much faster. So, uh, JL was saying that, you know, if, if you make one of these in the nether, it's it's... It's it's a better bet than just making regular rails, uh, you know, maybe even putting half slabs on top because this will definitely help you out if you've got any pigment spawning on your rails. You'll just go right through them. Okay, guys. So the a very important part about this is the placement and the direction. So if you guys can look at my F on my uh, debug screen, it says F1. Um, this is how you're going to place the rails. Now you're going to come in from this side, wherever it's curved on the curved angle. That's where you're going to come from, uh, and that's how you're going to place the blocks. So you're going to place three like that break away the sides you're always gonna place this block right here last and that's gonna work like so so yeah keep going like that and th every 30 about every 30 uh, blocks I think it's exactly 30 uh, is when you need to renew the power source so basically you're just gonna go like that and uh, yeah just continue on continue on like that so also in direction 2 <coughs> excuse me in direction 2 um, works exactly the same you have no problem whatsoever but when you come in direction three and zero you can see there's a little problem here it just connects back like that so an easy fix is gonna be to just deliver a power source like so break the blocks a little mess up and there you go you've got that uh, power just changing the direction of the rail for you so yeah you can basically build this in any direction that you need just make sure you know that you're coming in like so and that you're gonna need an initial power source and a power source between every 30 blocks just to renew your uh, maximum speed and yeah it's gonna be much faster than if you just have regular um, powered rails excuse me uh, or all powered rails so it's much cheaper as well also make sure that you don't have any uh, blocks beside if you have blocks beside like so, even on a regular rail, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but you are going to run into some rubbage, as I like to call it. You rub up against the walls and it slows you down very much, especially with this build right here, because um, you're constantly moving directions and you're just going to bump into the wall and it's going to be a big mess. So, anyways guys, if you have any other comments about this, leave them in the messages below, in the comments, excuse me. Uh, but yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, pardon all the derps. Uh, but yeah, much obliged guys. Adios.